Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to Sim UK. This is World War II Rebuilder, Cities from the Ashes. It's a game backed by Playway, but developed by Magnetic Games. And um, this is definitely something that uh, sort of uh, ticks a few boxes in my head. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a few things that uh, could potentially go wrong with this game. If they don't sort of adhere to the... Uh, respectfully adhere to the realities of the war if if you understand what i'm saying it's it's not a game that uh, can be a hundred percent free for all it has to have a bit of a bit of um a bit of reality and a bit of consideration i think to those who fought and died during the war so with that uh said let's jump into the play test and see what we've got on the go so it's all across Europe, look. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just Britain. So there's Belfast. There's London Neocropolis. There's the Lymph. And London City. But I guess we're starting here at Bibri. Bibri? Bibri? I don't even know how you pronounce it. Though ground combat had bypassed your native Britain, fierce Nazi bombardments wreaked havoc on military and civilian facilities. You were too young for the draft. So now, after the war, you decide to leave your family home and join the effort at rebuilding your country. Okay, so we've set the precedent. It's after the war. And, uh, okay, here we go. The available objectives are displayed in the upper left corner of the screen. You can switch between objective categories by pressing the U button. Full list of objectives with their detailed descriptions is available in the journal. You may open the info menu with tab or by pressing J. To finish a level, you must complete all main objectives. Completing side and extra objectives will increase your final score and will grant you more ability points. And what do ability points grant us, I wonder? It says collect resources, zero of 31 or whatever the number was. To select the tool, open the tools menu by pressing the left alt button or by holding down the mouse wheel. Scroll the mouse wheel to change the tools outside the tool menu. Aim at interactive objects to see the icon of the tool required for interaction. Okay, so F to collect. We're basically just collecting everything we can find, right? Oh, not everything we can find, so only certain things. Put resources. Containers. Wastes segregation. The containers can store the collected raw materials. There are four containers, each for the different raw materials. Approach the container and press the left PM. LPM? What's LPM? Don't know. To throw it in the corresponding raw material, press right mouse button to take the raw material from the container back to the pocket. Okay, so we've got rubble in there. There's not enough resources. Wood in there and brick in there. So now it's saying I don't have enough resources, right? So I guess I need all of the resources on me right now. Uh, F, F. Couple of bricks. Bit of wood, bit of metal. Oh, why can't I use this? Ah, not enough space. Okay. So let's chuck all the wood in here. And then we can pick up more wood. Oh, ow. Okay. So I've got to collect one more resource. And you can see I've got a rock in my hand. So if I can just put the rock down. Is it there? Where's the one thing I haven't picked up then? Move the mouse to look around and press the WSAD keys to walk. Go to the floating tutorial icons to learn the mechanics of the game. Tutorials can also be displayed by pressing the H key. 
Okay, I'm confused. What is it that I haven't picked up? There's a reason. Oh, is it? Is it up there? Is it that? No. Collect. Oh, it's this. Do you know, I didn't even see that there. Right. So at the moment we have no resources as well, at all. New quest. Install the new gutter. Cut off the destroyed gutter. Insert new one with scrap tool. Okay. I'm liking the old tools, but I've got to be honest with you. Back in the day, they probably didn't look old, if that makes sense. So they ought to be new. I don't know, maybe. Maybe they did look old. What the hell is that? Wrong cut location. Why would I be using... I suppose it's a metal gutter, is it? It's cool that you cut off a bit of metal and then you have more metal. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure I'm getting this. Um, so we've got enough metal. What do I need for this? Well, I just grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, so... Okay, this is not immediately intuitive. What do I need in order to... What? What is that? How does a bin lid help me put the st <laughs> I don't get that. And there was no bin lid that came up there. It looked like a hammer. This is okay, fine. Fine. Right. So I can't collect uh, any wood because I have too much in my hands. I'll collect everything else I can and then go and ditch all the wood, I guess. Right, so now that's clearly a hammer. Oh, pick up all the rubble. And now I need to get my bin lid out. Oh, okay. Now I get the wood out. Where's the wood? Okay, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I need more wood. There's no sprint button, by the way. That's okay. That's not the end of the world. Put five wood. Not enough resources. Okay. So I now have 20 pieces of wood. Did I just click on it the wrong way around? I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. So, uh, yeah. All right. Building a well. Did they still use wells? Have I run out of wood again? Seems I have. Um, yeah. Did they still use wells in the 40s and 50s? Oh, look. The gate's open and I haven't even finished it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm an Englishman. What? Oh, maybe I need to... In the workshop, you can buy items with the construction ability or craft them from raw materials. To open the workshop menu, go to the workshop and press the F button. In the tools tab are the items that may help you in your rebuilding process, such as ladders, 
In the building materials tab are items needed to conduct more advanced repairs, such as roof coverings. On the other tabs are decorative items you can place on the level. So let's open the shop and we'll have a roof covering. And we'll buy that. So now we can do roof coverings. Boom. Quest finished. You completed all the main tasks. I got five stars. Well done me. Eventually. You can continue the game to improve your score or finish the level. Well, I'm going to finish the level. So that was it. Okay, so now we're going to Gimbut. As you travel to London to help rebuild the city, your train has been forced to an unexpected stop. Train station... A train station in the town of Gimbert is in ruins, despite, or the train station. Despite the war not reaching these areas, check what happened here and clear the tracks to continue your journey to the capital. Alright. Press left control to highlight the ob objects you can interact with your hands or selected tool. Okay. To use this ability again, you'll need to wait until the cooldown time is up. It is represented by the icon in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note that depending on the select tool, other objects are highlighted. Collectible raw materials will not be highlighted if they cannot fit into the pockets. Hammer demolition tool. Some destroyed objects are too big to pick them up. They have to be broken down into smaller pieces with the hammer. Select the hammer tool and use it by clicking left mouse button on a destructible item. It will create many smaller raw material items that could be easily picked up. So I'm guessing things like this. That made it bigger. <laughs> there was a, a small pile of rubble which I hit with a hammer, and then it got bigger. Okay, it's quirky. It's quirky, but it's fine. Do you know what? There was nothing wrong with that bench. It just needed sitting up. Same with this one. That looks in perfect condition. Something's leaking. Oh, look at that. That's quite cool. I like that. go around fixing stuff the electrics seem a bit dodgy there don't they repairing with raw materials T transparent yellow areas can be filled with raw materials select the suitable raw material for example wood which will be used to repair wooden stairs use the selected raw material to fill the empty space by clicking the left mouse button on that space Note that you need to have a sufficient amount of the required raw material in your pocket. Okay. Okay, so we're out of wood space. Let me just grab as much of this stuff as I can. There must be some barriers somewhere. Why can't I walk there? That was weird. Oh, there we go. Exactly what I was looking for. Okay, let's go around and pick up all the bits and bobs that we can. That's a hundred bricks in there. Okay. Can that be... So that can't be knocked down and repaired. Oh, hello. There's a huge supply of bricks in the tower storage, if I recall. The station master used to close the ground floor due door from the inside, so you'll need to rebuild the stairs to enter the tower. Roger that. Right, let's get rid of the bits and bobs we've got on us. 
pick up these last few bits. Where's my welding tool? the impression it wants me to cut it there but I can't seem to get into that spot hmm we'll come back to that at a later date oh this is the uh, okay so we get the UK flag and benches and stuff okay that's cool placing items items bought or crafted at the workshop can be placed on the level after obtaining an item at the workshop, you will see it in one of the slots on the bar at the bottom of the screen. You can select the item from the bar by pressing the number key assigned to the slot. After selecting the object, you can place it on the surface. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. This is good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, so do I have enough wood to build this right now? Yes. Yes. No. Damn. That's a yes. That's a yes. That's a yes. Let's come over here and grab some more wood. And we should be able to put the steps in. And bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh man, what's this? A ghost or something? What the hell? Okay. It's like a trap door. There's lots of bricks here. Oh. Okay, we have an awful lot of bricks. Where's my hammer? If I had a hammer... So we can cut, we, oh, building the brick wall. Sometimes you have to build a new wall in place of the one you destroy brick by brick. Are you kidding me? It's going to take me forever. Select the bricks tool and hold left mouse button. Aiming the yellow transparent areas. Window holes will be automatically skipped. If it's necessary after building the wall, select the spatula tool and hold the left mouse button. Aiming the wall to plaster it. Finally put the windows for the wood in the wall. So we're going to have to break the wall down. That's kind of cool. I kind of like this. I am, I'm kind of... I'm well aware that it's weird that people like games like this. I am fully... It's not not lost on me, that, uh, that reality. In the runes, you may sometimes find remnants of explosives. Ooh, you can get rid of them by calling the sappers for a fee or by defusing it yourself. <laughs> God, you have to cut all the wires. Turning on the switch on the left side of the wire will turn on the light at the top. If the light is red, you have to adjust the knob on the right side of the wire until the light turns green. If the light is green, you can cut the wire. Each time you fail the defusal attempt, the sapper's fee goes up. Oh, look! There's a bomb! I ought to call in the sappers, but... British can-do attitude. Let's have a go. You've just found an unexploded bomb. The explosive charge is still a threat. It may explode at any time. You need to take care of it, not take care of yourself. You can notify the sappers and pay them to neutralise the bomb, or you can try to defuse it yourself. Yeah, I'm going to try to defuse it. The switch is on. Ooh. 
This seems pretty easy. Oh, there's a timer. I, do you know, I did not see the timer. <clears throat> at all. Okay. So I was like taking it really carefully there and trying not to... Because I didn't know what would set it off. I was a bit concerned. Uh, but it turns out that I need not have worried. Right, so if I now get the dustbin... Is it the dustbin or the brick? It must be the brick, right? You are joking. I can't even hold it down. I've got to click every single brick. That's a bit much, isn't it? I say that, there's uh, another game called Pub Landlord, where you had to build brick by brick, but I actually kind of like that, because it was a simulator, whereas this is a game, and it doesn't quite apply quite so well, does it? It doesn't quite work as well. Crikey, what sort of windows are we building here? I've got to admit, I'm not enjoying this bit too much. Despite the fact it's so bloody annoying. Why can't I just hold the mouse button down and just... Oh, it wasn't doing that a minute ago. Alright, so for some reason it didn't... The first row, at least, wouldn't let me do this, but now it's letting me just hold the mouse button, which is um, still a bit fiddly, but it's uh, darn sight better than having to click every single brick. That was really starting to do my Swede in. I'm not sure I'm going to be tall enough for this. Oh, there's the last bit. Or is it? No, it bloody isn't. More bricks, please. We're British. Oh, these are going to be huge windows. Holy cow. I think I am going to have to get a ladder. Because that is definitely getting tall now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, I can't reach up there. I'm not that tall. I say that, I'm doing a bloody good job of somehow <laughs> chucking the bricks up there on the top. This could be the last row. Come on now. Yeah, go on. Finish it off. Oh, I've got to go all the way up to the top. Yeah, we're going to need a ladder. Let's give me vertigo. Right, so. Cleaning brush, cleaning tool. Some walls are so dirty you cannot see the interesting objects placed on them unless you use the cleaning brush. Go to the dirty wall and select the cleaning brush. Hold the left mouse button whilst pointing at the dirty areas until you clean them. This is how you find various posters and stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, right, so how did the whole ladder thing work? Was it here? Tools. Scaffolding for 74. A wooden ladder is free. Let's take that on. Okay. So now I can press one. And now I can finish off the brick laying. That's very, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of digging that actually. Except I can't reach that last brick. No, there we go. Now I've run out of bricks. Of course I've run out of bricks. Alrighty. 
So there's me kind of saying, wow, run out of bricks again, how? There's me saying, you know, I hope it's uh, respectful and whatnot. I'm not sure I'm being particularly respectful. But it doesn't have that feel about it, which is interesting, I feel. It doesn't have that war feel about it. I mean, it, it's set in this era, but it could be... It could be any time. It doesn't feel like a, a war game. It's weird, the top of that plasterboard is actually on nothing. Can I move that? Yeah, okay, good. I like this, the way this works. It's a shame it's a bubble. Should be like a triangle or something, really. Bit fussy about where you put the mouse, though. It looks like uh, eight bit dot matrixy style, doesn't it? The way it, when it's going on there. Oh, you didn't have to do the whole thing. Well, that's good. Let's get some wood. Fabulous. That's looking a lot better, isn't it? Have I got to put the roof on and everything? Are you serious? Got to get up there and put the roof on this thing. Oops. Whoa. I don't know what that movement was all about. Why does the bin lid... Why is that a bin lid? I don't understand. Right, okay, well, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there, aren't we? Oh, I need the scrubbing brush. Oh, I've got to clean the whole wall, not just where the poster is. Oh, man. I'm sure there are other people on the train. Why is no one helping me? Alright, we're making progress anyway. Let's build some stuff. What can we have? We're going to have some flags. We're going to have uh, a clock. We'll have a post box. We'll have a couple of comfortable benches. We'll have a lion. We'll have a nice manhole cover. And a very modern trash can. Right. Looks like I need to put some lamps up. I can't fix that, which is weird. Alright, let's just offload a bunch of my stuff here because I've got too much of everything still. So is this bit all done and happy? Except for that wonky poster that I can't seem to do anything about. Cool HQ. Not available right now. Interesting. 
What are they going to do with that, I wonder? So what do I do about all the muck and crap that's on the floor there? Nothing at all? I worry not too much about that, I guess. Oh, okay. So I can only put it if there's like a gap. Then. Take a little look at the train. Oh. Quite nicely modelled, isn't it? Bit of FPS drop going on there, though. Right. So, it says clear the tracks, 0 of 18. So I'm supposed to get down there and clear the tracks as well. I haven't been paying attention to any of the jobs I'm supposed to be doing. Just kind of been enjoying myself and just doing whatever I want. But I'm supposed to be down here picking up this stuff. What's going on here? Large metal objects need to be cut into smaller pieces before you can collect them. Select the cutting torch and use it by holding left mouse button. You have to cut all the segments in the joints until they begin to fade out. The small cut off pieces of the objects can be easily picked up. All right, then. So do I have to hit it with a hammer whilst it's hot? Oh, hang on. What have I not done here? Uh, no, it's got nothing to do with that. Used. What do you want me to cut? I've cut this, haven't I? Oh, hang on. Just takes a bit longer than I realised. You've got to melt through it a bit more. And then it sort of changes colour. It's a little bit quirky the way that works. It's like where you have to put the mouse is not actually where it looks hot. But whatever. Okay, fine. We'll take that. Okay, all right. So you full again. Grab that, smash that, grab, 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 grab. Still can't grab that. So we've got to build a new canopy. Oh, there's a whole other side of the track I hadn't even considered coming over here. Better not take that one down. Can I jump between them? Oh, I can. That's kind of cool. Okay. 
Okay, I've got no more space to collect stuff with. Well, picking up individual bricks is fun. Not fun. It's a pain in the ass. Right, so there's a lot of metal this side. Construction building. New constructions can be built in places marked with the yellow sign. The indicated area, press F whilst looking at the ground. This will open the build menu. After selecting and setting up build design, you need to fill its walls and bricks with stuff. Okay. Uh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't think we're ready to build, are we? Got to move all the stuff out of the way first. Not quite ready. Not quite ready. Almost there. Almost ready to build. Oh my god. It's going to take me a long time to pick up all that metal because every time I pick up a piece I have to come and empty it. Wow. I could pick up two pieces at a time. I wonder if I could build... Aha! Well, that's going to save me a bit of time and effort. Don't quite know where to place them though. Let's go number eight. Yeah, there looks as good as anywhere. That'll make me so much less stressed. Now, the question is, is it universal? Will I be able to pick up or get access to all the stuff over there that I picked up and put in the in the bucket over that side? The FPS is definitely struggling now. It's giving me a bit of nausea. But you don't get very often playing games. I mean, VR games, that can happen. But it's making me a tad sick. It's like the, the blurriness and the, the FPS drops. Too much. Too much. Right. Anything else I can move? Or is that all staying there? Okay, let's do it. F. Start building. Can we not pick? This is in the way now, isn't it? You're having an absolute laugh. How do I pick between them? I want to build the, the large platform canopy if I can. Oh man, this is getting on my nerves. So can I... Can I move this?
Just build wrong position. I'm pretty sure that that's where it's meant to go, right? So I think I screwed it up by putting these here. But I don't know how to get these. How do I get rid of them? Oh, man. Am I still going to have to drag everything over? Please tell me that's not the case. Oh, how, what does this say? Yeah, see, I don't think... Oh, oh, God. How do I get rid of these? Ah! My God. You have to look at the base. You have to look at the floor. And then it works. Oh, typical. Ugh. Alrighty. Should work now. Start building. Boom. So now I can put my these things back down here. And I should just be able to build. So if I get my bin lid. I still don't understand why the bin lid does this. This that is a little bit confusing. What goes on there? Where's my ladder? Okay. That's lovely. What else do you want me to build? I don't know how to select large platform. Well, I've bought these fabulous flags, but where can I stick them? They don't appear to want to go anywhere. It says build a new canopy, zero of one. Well, what have I just built there then? Oh, hang on. I see what's going on. I get what the problem is. We haven't finished, right? There we go. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. So now we just need to fix the roof. Oh, where's my ladder gone? How are we going to fix the roof? Excuse moi. Uh... How are we going to fix the roof?
Damn it, I've put the ladder in the wrong place. Can't get up there. Quest finished. Fix the gutters. I didn't even know that was a quest. Okay, I see how that works now. Be in your face, isn't it? I've got three of these. <laughs> That's a bit much. Can I take it down once I put it up? You can't. Well, maybe you can. Yes. nice how do you rotate e and whatever why does that say us mail it's a bit silly isn't it Why has decorate the area not gone up at all? It's just gone up by 1%. Is there like a, a list of acceptable things or something? can do with that electric there because it looks like that needs dealing with we've also got this kind of weird shadowy figure the Soham disaster article Two dead, a number injured, station and town damaged. The tragic incident occurred yesterday around 1.45pm in a small town of Soham in East Cambridgeshire. A heavy freight train consisting of 44 wagons containing a total weight of 400 tonnes of bombs and fighter parts rolled into the town's train station with one of the wagons on fire. The military, the military load could have exploded any second, any second. When the train driver, Benjamin Gimbert, realised what was happening, he instructed John Nightingale, the fireman, to uncouple the burning wagon. Immediately after, the cart was separated from the rest of the train. Gimbert started to draw it away from the station. The explosion took place about 150 yards from the station buildings. The distance was enough to prevent the chain reaction that would have led to the explosions of the entire train and heavy destruction in the area. However, John Nightingale died in the disaster and the station signmaster, Frank Bridges, present on the platform at the time of the explosion, died today in hospital. Several other people were have heavily injured, including the driver, Benjamin Gimbert, whose heroic act, act is already considered worth awarding the, George's, the George Cross. Wow. I wonder if that's real. It's incredible, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, hang on. Buy that for the cost of one star. Buy that at the cost of two stars. Buy that for the cost of three stars. Can't afford it. Damn.
How do I know how many stars I have? Oh, hello. sort of reenacted the situation there that's what that was then that's what that shadow was it was the shadow of the station master wow wow don't know what more to say really that's quite um quite a thing isn't it You can craft some of these things. Alright, let's see if putting some lights in will improve the situation at all. Okay, so that's boosting decoration levels a bit. I guess we need some more of those benches. They seem to be the only thing that's really going down very well. It is a little bit frustrating that they always seem to uh, spawn back to front. And every time you put one down, it doesn't hold the next one. Don't like that much. Any other collectibles in here? Seem like it. Okay. All right. Um, there's no door. It doesn't have a door on it. That's poor chaps. You need to have a door on it. I expect that to be fixed at launch. <laughs> Unacceptable, I'm afraid. Plenty of seating all around for everybody. No, I can't go in there. It's a bit of a shame. Put a bit over this side as well. Let's try not to neglect it. Um, well, I can't put them here. A few more lamps, I think, will do it, won't it? And then I've got to figure out how to get up there and fix the roof. I 
genuinely don't quite know what I need to do in that regard. Oh, hang on. It's not the right place. Lights. Let's try and get the same lights if I can. Was it these ones? It looks like there's already some lights over this side. I can't put any lights there at all. I can't put anything there at all, at all, at all. Because it's still a construction site. But I kind of feel like there is still something I could build there. But how do I... Ah! It's E. Right, okay, so hang on. If I go F, remove building. Oh, balls. That removed the yellow thing, and now I can't build anymore. Does that mean I can now put stuff over here? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's okay. That's what's going on there, then. A little bit weird. I'll be honest, a little bit weird. Could I have the line illuminated? And the clock? Why would you have that bloody great big thing? Will it sink into the ground, do you reckon? No, it just st it sits up out of the floor. That's so weird. I don't understand that. That's obviously meant to go over a hole or something. Right, so I've got my scrubby brush, but that doesn't seem to be clearing up this mess on the floor. Okay. The area is now a hundred percent clean. Sixty nine percent decorated. How do I get up to that roof? I'm going to have to build uh, scaffolding. Building materials, a roof covering, of course. Of course. Well. Some objects require total replacement with the items available at the workshop building material. Buy or craft the workshop material you need at the workshop, then you'll be able to put it... Right, okay. So it was as I suspected. Uh, but for some reason, when I press 4, nothing comes out. So what are you telling me? I haven't got enough stuff? Well, I've got loads of wood. Well, definitely the FPS is dropping. I can't craft anymore because I've got no items to craft with. 
I can't buy them because I've only got 55 coins. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? What do I do now? Ah, oh, what do I do now? I'm kind of stuck. I can collect the street lights for a few things, but I can't sell them, right? <clears throat> so what am I going to do? No money in here. The FPS has absolutely dropped through the floor. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we're going to talk to me. You're going to need lots of bricks for rebuilding. Thanks, mate. You're going to need a new skull. Yeah. It doesn't hurt that much. At least I'm still alive, he says. Oscar the station worker. Oscar, we've got a bit of a problem, mate. I've run out of cash. And um, I, haven't, I haven't got any way of rebuilding the roof. Could you help? Yeah, the FPS is making it really difficult to um, do anything right now. Oh, I can't even get, can't even get on the scaffolding to climb up it. Come on, come on, game, work with me here. Because a lot of houses need some looking after. <clears throat> I don't know what to do in this situation. I, I appear to be totally screwed. Can I sell stuff? Can I sell? Well, I think I'm screwed then. I don't know how to get myself out of this situation.
Yeah, the FPS is getting worse by the minute here. Help! These are all explosives, I guess. Uh, inventory. Sell. Come on. Uh, buying and crafting. Rick Toing Ball. <laughs> oh, I wish I could get the Rick Toing Ball. That sounds like fun. Repairing with raw materials. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know how to do that. Destroying. Bul boilging. Destro destroying boilging. <laughs> oh, there's loads of stuff I haven't got access to here. I can't believe this. I'm going to have to replay this damn level. Just because I was trying to tart it up like it told me to. Can't I just sell it back to you? Gonna have to do it again. Guys, thank you so much for watching my first look at the game. There's an awful lot more that I, I can add to it, I'm sure. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, redo Gimbert so that we can continue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.